Now, wind turbines are seen by many as one of the main answers to our future energy needs. Some people love them, others loathe them, arguing that they're a blot on the landscape and not very efficient. Now, the Midlands has been chosen to study their effectiveness. Well, it's hoped it'll help companies produce better designs that produce more electricity and can be used in homes. Today, a wind turbine imported from Holland was switched on for the first time at the test site in Shropshire. And Central tonight, Simon Ward is there. The rolling hills of the Shropshire countryside, the perfect place for testing and comparing wind turbines. But if you're thinking about getting one, what do you get for your money? Well, a model like this costs around £3,500 and could provide a third of your electricity for a year if you live in a rural area. Some models can cost a few hundred pounds, but perhaps they're not up to the job. Today is the big switch on for a new wind turbine. Tony Boyle is allowing his farm at Aston Air near Bridge North to be used as the test site. This £14,000 turbine can provide enough power for everything in his house. I would really hope that every farm has one. It doesn't mean that you can wind down any power stations because there are times when it's calm and the power stations are going to have to pick up again. But there's no reason why every farm shouldn't have, that, have one. When you look at the price of these in comparison to agricultural machinery, um, it's pretty comparable. But it's not just about very large wind turbines. Wolverhampton University is comparing the different models on this site. The study should help manufacturers make better models that have an even more practical use for ordinary homes. What I'm actually looking at is optimising or getting the, the maximum power. So I'm trying to design something that can actually be implemented into different wind turbines, not necessarily to be specific for one particular turbine, but that could be reprogrammed to actually work on other wind turbines, whether it's a small one or it's a bigger one. Experts say people who want their home to be more environmentally friendly should first consider insulation or perhaps solar panels, especially if they don't live in the country. I think you have to be cautious when you're putting up a wind turbine in an urban area just to make sure that you have got smooth enough wind uh, to generate significant amounts of electricity. Um, I'm slightly nervous that there are, you can buy turbines on the high street or, or cut price turbines on the internet um, and the engineering isn't, isn't sufficiently good to, to make the product worthwhile. Making sure you have planning permission is something else to consider. But Tony's home is all powered up today. He should produce £1,200 worth of electricity in a year. His bill is normally £700. The hope is that with improved technology and cheaper prices, more people will follow. Simon Ward at Aston Air in Shropshire for Central Tonight.